Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Kim and welcome to my channel. Today I have another collaboration design team uh, project. It's Bluebell Woods collaboration between Teddy Treasures and Collage Type. And uh, goodness, there's about, I believe, four kits, plus there's some add-ons and some um, buy me a coffee. I think there's some freebies through the Facebook group. Um, I'm going to link down below the Teddy Treasure and Friends Facebook group. Um, great group. You can get a lot of freebies, a lot of um, inspiration, and um, it's, it's a great, great bunch of uh, fellow crafters. So I'm going to, again, link that down below. And some of the people on the design team, actually, I believe this is all the people, uh, there's Tanya at Teddy Treasures, there's Collage Type, uh, there's Denise, Rita Jensen, Debbie Harper, Julie Worthington, myself, and Tommy. And um, we're all getting together this month for the month of March and making uh, different, different bits and journals and tags and folios and all kinds of fun things that you can use with this kit. Some of the pages that I used, I just, um, just going to show you some of the pages I used to make this ephemera book. And the ephemera book actually is a great idea that I got from uh, Sue at Paper Inspirations. Um, she put together, it's, it's a, a, an ephemera, not folder, but like a little book, I guess. Uh, with the tabs, with the tab um, using the muslin. And so I did a lot of sewing in it. And I'm um, just going to share some of the pages that I used for um, the uh, Bluebell Woods kits. I believe this is from Bluebell Woods kit number four from Tanya. Uh, don't quote me, I might have that off a little bit. Um, let's see, the cover I used is this Bluebell Woods. I love it. It has these woodland little beautiful. I have all the ephemera too. So we're going to have some fun with the ephemera bits. And I love this page. I just think this is so pretty with the bluebells. We have this one. This. And I love the pink. Another one with the bluebells and the script. Love the little bunny. And I love this, uh, this print here. Some of these I have on some cardstock. And here are just a few of the sheets of the many, many sheets of ephemera. Let's see, I actually shrunk these down a bit, so the ephemera was a, a lot smaller. Here, like in this little tray, I have lots of little bits, and I made them much smaller so that they would fit nicely in the ephemera book and in the journals. Oops, that one's upside down. I love the owls and the birds, and you know, I love my butterflies. Got some tickets and some stamps. Here's some other bluebells. Boy, I've got a bunch of these upside down here. And some nice little greenery. And here's some labels. Several different labels. And so a lot of them I did print out on cardstock so that I could use them in other projects as well. So I'll do a little flip through first. And so I have the cover being Bluebell Woods. And this has a larger pocket. And again, if you want the tutorial on how to put this together, um, Sue actually has that, and I can, um, I can give you more information on that as well. And there's some little pockets here with some vellum. There's some pockets here. And they're just various sizes. I didn't really measure. I just uh, put some together and sewed around them. 
think that's one page, yeah. Some more pockets, lots and lots of pockets. And again, it's just put together with tabs of muslin. And I liked the great big pockets for things like this. You could stick that in there. So there are many, many pages of ephemera. So I just printed some of my favorites. And so I just thought we would go through some of them and put them in, in the book. So these, these are cute little postcards. And these are the ones that I shrunk down quite a bit. And a little receipt. Let's see, we'll go we'll put some of those back here. Ooh. Oh, I have a stuck pocket. Well, we can stick that there. Let me get a phone folder. There we go. This must have had a little bit of glue. I love that. It's so pretty. I love all the colors. And I did um, print the backs with some other pieces from the kit. Don't you love that page? It's so pretty. Let's see. So you'll have to comment down below if you've checked out her kit. And uh, let's see, I'm like not sure where I want to put these things. Let's see. Look at the little library card. I shrunk that down quite a bit. And look at, I just love that piece there. So yeah, lots of fun pieces. And these are nice for collaging. These larger pieces here. And there were several. I didn't cut out all of them. Let's put some stamps in here. Got some stamps and some labels. And I just used some pinking shears for the stamps. I thought that was really fun. Whoop. Yeah, I thought this kit worked really well with this format. Um, and I'm always in need for an ephemera book. So I always have lots and lots of ephemera. Just, to, oh, there's a little, little, uh, I just went blank. <laughs> went blank, it's late, y'all. It's a, oh, bluebell. I don't know. I just kind of went blank there for a minute. And here's some tickets. Bluebell Woods. How about we throw these back here? Yeah. So what a nice gift, too, to um, just put together a nice ephemera book, fill it up with some goodies. I guess we'll put these over here. And it's a nice little happy mail. Let's see. And let's see, what do we want to put here? I have lots of labels here in my little Tim Holtz box. I think I have some butterflies mixed in here as well. You can always use these labels. I'm always using labels. So I am going to link down below um, Tanya and Nanine's shops so that you can check out the kits page by page if you'd like. There's so many different uh, there's some um, journal pages like this that are set up by, side by side. And then there's, if you want to do a slim journal, there's uh, some pages that way. Oh, I love, look at the little butterfly. It's so cute. 
and there's lots and lots of labels. I love all the different color, the different shades of green. I love my green. So yeah, as you can see, lots of labels I cut out. Little ticket here. It's really cute. Let's stick that down there. Let's put, I actually have some tags as well. These, this one I did start, I backed it and started it with a, um, with some stitching, some sewing. And there's even some purple. There's purples and pinks and blues and greens. Actually, I think I like this over here better, this bigger pocket. Oh, I missed a label. We could stick a label in here. Lots of labels. There's nice little, um, I guess these could be labels as well. The stream, sunrise. Bluebell Woods, This Way, Pathway Nature, Bluebell Trail, Picnic Time, Flowers, Ancient Trees, Bird Watching. Just a few of them. There is a whole page, I believe. I printed it out. Where is it? I know I printed it. You can see all the different ones. Okay, maybe I didn't. That or I have it in a different place. I think I do. Just so you can see the variety. So here's that pink page. There's another pink one. There's that. And I don't know. I know I have it printed. Here it is. It's like, I know I'm not, not losing my mind completely. Not completely. So there's this page. That's where those came from, down here. And there's some little bitty ones, some smaller ones. And these, they look like they're real old. I like that, the rusty, larger signs. And there it's the tags and the postcards so they all should fit in here quite nicely if i planned this right i didn't prepare ahead of time to see how this would fit i'm just winging it these are so pretty see the bluebell woods art book journal. I really like the blue. Let's see if I'm in frame. I hope I'm in frame. Thoughts of Woods. And Tanya Taddy Treasure, she has another YouTube channel that is um, very nature and in its context, she goes for walks and things and this just really reminds me of a lot of um a lot of scenery and birds and all kinds of nature that she that she uh shows on that channel so i believe the link that i'll put down below has that channel as well i love the owls See if I can fit them all in there. The birds. Don't want to break them. There we go. And now these I didn't print on cardstock. I just printed this on a nice uh, matte white paper. Let's 
see. Do we have room? We sure do. We have lots of room. But I mean, what a nice gift. Put together some ephemera. Some little elements. The butterflies are beautiful colors, too. See, look at We're filling it up really nice. I think these might be a little too deep, these pockets here, for the butterflies. Let's see here. Got a few little treasures left in here. Let's see, we got some butterflies. I can get it out. I may have to tip it over. Yep. Yeah, that's too small for that pocket. We can put some more of these labels in here, though. See, look at all these butterflies, the beautiful colors. And you could change the size because there are some PDF files. I know on my printer, I can only size for PDF. Uh, I can't do it for JPEG. For some reason, my printer just doesn't cooperate. We'll stick these in here. And I love that you can see through with the vellum. You could also use some acetate. Acetate would look nice as well. So yeah, so how cute is that? And I put a couple labels here. So a nice variety. Lots and lots of labels there. So it looks like we we pretty much filled it up except for the one, I think just the one pocket. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. A lot of fun. I'll also link down below uh, the tutorial on how you can put this book together. It is so much fun. I really, I'm like, I made a couple of them and um, to put all my little bits and pieces in. And you can make it, you can make it thicker. Like this is just see, two, four, six, six pages, I believe which I thought was the perfect size for all the ephemera for this kit. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you so much, Tanya and Nanine, for including me in your uh, design team project. I had so much fun. Um, in the next week or two, I'll have uh, another video up for the month of March with some other goodies to share with y'all. So with Bluebell Woods. So I hope you enjoyed that. Go ahead and check out Tanya and um, well the other ladies on the design team. Their links are down below. And um, there's lots of other projects to look at as well. Lots of fun uh, to be had with, with all these kits. Like I said, I believe in total there's over 40 pages. So lots and lots of opportunity there to uh, make any kind of journal that you're, you know, that you prefer. Like I know right now I'm making a lot of the tall journals, the slimline journals, having a lot of fun making those. And before I close, see there's pages like this you can use with the solid colors. And I believe Nanine's kit is the one with this side-by-side. -side. And I'm thinking, I want to show you this one page. It's so pretty. I love the pink. I don't know if you can see the pattern in there, but it's really, really pretty with that. So yeah, all kinds of fun things you can make with it. 
So I hope you have fun. I hope you go check it out and you enjoyed today's project. And y'all be safe. Have a wonderful rest of your week and uh, take care.